Field information zero one six five three Zulu wind call facility one zero. Sky condition one thousand one hundred scattered. Ceiling one one thousand broken. Temperature one sixty point one two altitude three zero four seven. I left from level one forward for and departing runways one forward one for left. Simultaneous reports of empty flight field and speed back airport six back traffic above you on final. Notice chairman. Deep our aircraft state direction and departure. All aircraft be back home. Shore instructions advise on this contact GFM station Sierra. Hi guys, Sierra. To up Long Acres, our next frequency 133775. Clear the area. The rotor spun up. Put it on off. All the way up and wait for movement. First sign of movement back down to the middle. Bump every few seconds. Keeping an eye on rotor RPM. In the green as much as possible as it starts grabbing on the belt. We need to apply some extra throttle to start with and I'll have to roll it off as it starts picking up. Needles are married all the way up. Let it lock, that looks good. Up to 2,000 RPM. Form it up here at about 2,000 for a minute or so. Oil temps are in the green, I'll roll up to 2,500. Check the fuel pump. Good. Check the alternator. Good. Talking five off dealer state parking. So 2,500 RPM. Talking five off dealer state parking. Alpha Niner in contact ground point nine. Good day. Go 25.14. Right mag. Good. Hover. Go back to 25 and 14. Left mag. Good. Cover. Put the needles. Three, two, one. Down. Split. Got a good split. Good. 2,000 RPM while I pull off the frictions. Throttle feels good. I tightened it a little bit on the ground. It felt a little bit loose in pre-flight. All friction are off. Stage. Two-stage pickup. We'll start feeling ourselves getting a little light. When we do that, we'll make any corrections necessary to keep the helicopter stable, and then we'll finish picking up, and then we'll call the tower. There we go. Covering at 22, nice and light with just me in here today. Down to 443, Delta Bravo, Boeing Tower, runway 14 right at Bravo 1, clear to take off. Boeing Tower, good morning. Helicopter 811 Tango Tango is at pad 2, ready to go south, take off Oaksdale departure, I have Sierra. Helicopter 811 Tango Tango, Boeing Tower. Departure pad two, big zone, rip. Caution, uh, Oaksdale departure proof. Oaksdale approved, for you one tango tango from pad two, thank you. Clear left, clear right, clear everywhere, off we go. Better Helicopter cars. one tango tango, traffic departing the big runway at Challenger Trail. One tango tango's looking, thanks. Here we go, build up speed, don't let it climb, it's going to want to climb, it's going to move to the right, we'll fix both of those with left on the cyclic, forward on the cyclic, 45 knots, we can let that climb take over, and up we go. Getting really nice performance today, since it's just me.
take a slightly early left turn here since that plane is taking off. I just get out of his way. It is beautiful today. What a nice day. South flow day, south flow day today, so any traffic in the pattern will be coming from the right to the left, so I'll keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on all directions, obviously, but traffic we do see is probably going to be coming from our right. Got that traffic, no factor. Helicopter does just feel like it wants to get up and go with just me in here. Usually fly through here at about a thousand these days. I'm gonna keep it around eight or nine hundred. There's Flight guy, like the at the needle for the one retrieval, spot eight information, Sierra. Up to 447, Charlie, Boeing Tower, dual retrieval approved for the bridge. Dual retrieval approved, uh, reporting a bridge 47, Romeo Charlie. I was just saying, there's some some low clouds. It was a, I believe it was few at 1,100 or something on the ATIS, so that's probably what we're seeing here. We'll just stay under those. This is my first real actual solo flight in a long time. Like I've been flying, you know, PIC with non-pilots, but I don't usually get out with just me. I, I love to share this, so if I'm gonna fly somewhere on my own, I'm looking for people who might want to jump in. It didn't work out today, I tried. Um, but hey, it's all good. I gotta go down and do some practice anyway. It's been, been about a month since I've had a really solid uh, practice flight, you know, and my CFI check ride is coming up, um, and just the smoke that we had sticking around for a while, and then the, the IMC weather um, just didn't make it uh, very viable to get out and do some training flights. That's, that's what I'm here for today. I had ulterior motives trying to get... Uh, an adult passenger in the right seat. I just figure it's uh, good getting some training flight in with with that extra weight on the other side since during the check ride I'm going to have the examiner in. Um, not a huge deal. But you know, the thing I always like to say in training is eliminate as many variables as you can. No, but I'm a CFI student, you know, like I, I should be able to do this the same with the passenger or without and I have every confidence I can and I will. It's just, uh, like I said, eliminating variables. But hey, we're all good. I was going one way or another. Our nice little sewage treatment facility down here. If I had to auto, I'd prefer not to auto into one of those big vats. Lock up to seven, Romeo, Charlie, spot eight, clear to land. I'd probably aim for a parking lot or one of these baseball fields or soccer fields. I'd take it if I had to, but auto rotating Lock into a big vat of sewage. Charlie, caution wake turbulence for a Falcon departed big runway. Not my first option, not my first preference there. I'm gonna flip over to Long Acres here. 133775. Three, three, I gotta keep my keep an eye on my airspeed. This helicopter just wants to fly right now. 200 pounds less weight in the right seat. 
He wants to go. Long Acres traffic, helicopter 811 Tango Tango is southbound 700 feet over pad 1.5, Long Acres. Put on some frictions here and I'm going to get 1228 queued up for Auburn, which will be our next frequency. There we go. So not only is this my first flight solo in a long time, it's actually my first flight in the PIC seat in a long time. I've been the, the flying that I have been doing has been mostly uh, PFI training, which puts me into the to the other seat. So a bunch of bunch of things moving around here compared to what I've been doing, but that's that's what it's all about. Just staying current, staying proficient, and I love flying helicopters. We had a bunch of uh, low-lying fog earlier today, so if I'm lucky, um, people are going to be coming out a little later, and I'll have the airport to myself today because I'd rather spend my time uh, practicing approaches, practicing hovering, that kind of thing, and not spend my time uh, doing 360s or 180s in the pattern, waiting for other other people to move around. Long Acres traffic, helicopter 811 Tango Tango, southbound 700 feet at the sawdust piles, Long Acres. It used to be sawdust piles, now it's the, I don't know what that is. <laughs> we'll have to come up with a new name. All the lights are out, instruments are all in the green. Got lots of gas. Nothing in the way of the controls. This is Blue Origin here. That's uh, Jeff Bezos' uh, space flight company. Is that what it is? Company? Organization? Whatever it is. Pretty cool. It was interesting watching that structure come up as we were flying through this area daily. I weren't quite sure what it was going to be. It started off as a bunch of pipes and it looked like harp or something. And then they built this horseshoe and eventually they covered it and that's what we got. Last call here for Long Acres. Long Acres traffic, helicopter 811 Tango Tango is southbound 700 feet at Showwear Center. Last call before flipping over to Auburn, Long Acres. Auburn, municipal, airport, automated advisory, wind, calm, temperature, 1, 5, Celsius, 2.12 Celsius, Altamina 3048. Auburn traffic helicopter 811 Tango Tango is inbound to the north. Uh, requesting an active runway advisory if anyone's down there, Auburn. I'm showing a headwind in this direction. Technically, the calm air runway is 3-4 here, but if uh, it's calm down there, but just a little above the airport, it's coming out of the south. So I'm going to take 1-6 if nobody else is uh, using 3-4. See somebody coming off there without making a radio call. Open area traffic, Skyline November 3002, Quebec, turning out to the east. Final radio call open. Over traffic, 7 9 Delta, radio check. Auburn, you loud and clear. Yep. 
Auburn traffic. Helicopter 811 Tango Tango is about one and a half to the north. It looks like a 3-4 is in use. He'll be entering a left downwind for 3-4, Auburn. Auburn Municipal Airport Automated Advisory. Wind, calm, temperature 1, 5 Celsius, 2.13 Celsius, altimeter 3, 0, 4, 8. On the downwind, I'd like to normally be around 70, 60 to 70 knots, so I'll slow us down a little bit here. Keep us at about 700 feet. See a helicopter there in the run-up area. Auburn traffic, helicopter 811 Tango Tango is on. Left downwind for 3-4, Auburn. Downwind, see what's moving on, moving around on the runway. We know there's someone taxiing. I don't see him yet, but I see the helicopter doing some hover practice in the run-up area. I've made my radio call. I see the plane taxiing from fuel. Keep an eye on him. He's probably going to do a run-up once he gets to the the runway. So he should be no factor, but we will always keep an eye out for whatever is going on. Also, don't forget the air in front of us. You know, we're not just looking at the airport. We want to make sure nobody's All coming in final. Helicopter Spotlight Bravo is at Alpha 4, taking runway uh, 3 4 departure to the north. Yeah, hey, that guy's taking 3 4. That helicopter looked like an R 22. Cool. Clear right. Clear left. Clear final. Here we go. Auburn traffic helicopter 811 Tango Tango is turning left base to final 3-4. Looking for the helicopter departing, Auburn. Uh, we're over the numbers at the north end right now. We're well out of your way. I like to shoot for the, uh, the windsock area so we can do that. Get us nice and slow. 700 feet AGL. We're going to get our descent going here. As we start rolling off power, add a little bit of right pedal. As torque starts kind of diminishing. Keeping our aiming point in sight, aiming for that windsock. There's the plane there in the run-up area, as expected. Slowing us down, there's 300 feet. Want to be 50 knots at 300 feet. 40 knots at 200 feet. Got our aiming point in sight. There's our 200 feet, 40 knots, looking good. Maybe 100 feet, 30 knots. Gonna start feeling the shakes. There's the shakes, we lose ETL. Adding a little bit of power, which means a little bit of left pedal. Bringing that down, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's so good to be back in the helicopter. Cool. Let's get out of everybody's way. Auburn traffic, helicopter 811 Tango Tango is on the go. 3 4, making left closed, Auburn. Off we go. Keep the nose down until we get to our 45 knots. Helicopter is going to want to rise and move to the right. So we'll counter both of those with our right hand. At the 45 knots, we can let it climb. And off we go. That's how you take off. I am so happy to be flying. I've been studying so hard for 
my written exams and the check ride and all that reading about helicopters, reading, reading, reading every day, all day, and then not being able to fly, that is hard. That's that's rough. Okay, clear right, clear left, clear forward. There we go, left turn. Auburn traffic, helicopter 811 Tango Tango is turning left downwind 34, Auburn. Seven hundred feet, sixty-five knots, right where I want it to be. I still got it. This is mostly a dusting off the cobwebs flight and uh get Lele back in the helicopter because he is getting withdrawals type of flight. <laughs> 